All right, guys, another cool video coming right now from the guys at LA Police Gear. Guys, if you aren't familiarized with LA Police Gear, make sure to check them out. They got some very affordable products in great quality. They have been coming up with some great uh, gear, um, tactical uh, clothing, and all kinds of different things. And you've seen previous videos. If you follow me, they have some cool pants. I uh, always been a big fan of Police gear because they're very affordable and they make quality products throughout the years they have evolved and have better quality products every single year they come out with something new and this is one of them uh this is going to be the LA Police gear atlas 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 <laughs> molly plate carry and it's only 80 bucks so far what i've seen i just recently got this in and we're going to test it out here outside and everything, as you'll see. And also some other stuff here that are going to attach to this. And also some <laughs> ballistic panels here, which we'll talk here a little more about it here and as we go through. Uh, let's start with the plate here, which is, um, I tell you, great quality. It looks like it has some great uh, material stitching and also seems to be uh, laser cut uh, as well and everything else. It's have a lot of stuff for the prize. And... The material they use uh, is going to be a 500D uh, Kodra, K-O-D-R-A. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Kodra. Um, it's also, uh, this plate carrier will accept uh, plate carriers 10 by 12 plates. And it also has side panels here for your smaller plates for 6 by 6 as well, if you want to um, put some side panels in here. But we'll take a look at it a little bit closer as well. Uh, it's got removable cumber, which is this uh, here. It can be removed if you want to. I don't see what we want to, but we'll see how comfortable it is uh, as well. Uh, it's got fully, uh, fully adjustable straps uh, right here on, and also padded as well, which is um, pretty neat in my opinion. It's got some anti-slip material here and some um, breathable material there on it as well, which uh, keep your shoulders comfortable and cool as well. Uh, uh, front and back and shoulders, are, like I said, it's going to be adjustable here with the straps. It's got a, a buckle here, which can be detached quickly. Uh, quick release uh, buckle on each shoulder, like I was saying. So all you do is reach in here and you can, um, you know, detach it pretty quickly, as you can see, which is pretty cool. So if you need to take care of uh, an individual that has been injured, you can take this off very easily, as you see. Um, what else? So it's got a drag handle, which is uh, not many plate carriers have that, uh, which is good to have if uh, you have Velcro on the back and Molly attachment all the way around on the cumber and the front and back. But uh, in my opinion, it's pretty nice. Good looking. All right, so this is the front. And I'm gonna take this, hold it up, and you can take the cumber off here, which we're not gonna do that here, and you can put it back down. Uh, the plates are going to be right here. We'll go right here. Just pull the strap open. And you got the, um, where the plates go right here, which we'll insert here in a second. And again, it will accept 10 by 12 uh, plates. Uh, again, this will be the ceramic plates, which uh, is going to be a little bit more bulkier, but uh, more durable as far as taking hits from different rounds and we'll go we'll talk more about the plate here what's all capable to it is and we will take it outside and shoot it as well so you can see and how many uh rounds it will take to stop a round or whatever it may be is compatible to here's the ella police gate atlas molly plate here it's one size fits all again here's the back side thing where you can put your plate carrier and let's go ahead and uh Take the plate out and move it out the way. But as far as I can see, you got your your side panels here, which let's see if I can open this up and um, take a look at it better. Here we go. All right, so we got a strap here also, which is um, you know can be removed if you want to, I'm assuming, yep. And you can remove it, but this is another way to secure the vest on you. Um, here's the 
side pocket for your side plates. So it goes in here and seems like a Velcro through inside and then close it back down. You got a hole right here, you need to drain it. And again, just the material, I mean, just the highway laser cut looks like uh, the Molly is and just the material, but you can get this in different colors and everything else and as well. So I went with the, before I knew they was coming out, I went with the OD, OD green uh, magazine pouches. This is the single pistol mag pouch here, OD green. So we have some of those again, single mag pouch looks pretty good. Well done stitches. We got two of those. We're gonna put, see how it looks. And that's well. we got the double rifle mag patch as well. Here in the OD green. Again, you can get different colors. Just make sure to check the website. And this one's gonna be just a single magazine pouch here, which is got elastics on the inside. Very neat. Molly attachment on the back. It's just well done. I mean, they have some Great quality stuff. Now this is gonna be an ammo pouch. I guess if you wanna put it up here, you can put ammo pouch. We'll see how that looks. I may not run this, but you also have a little pouch here. You possibly can put another magazine in there or flashlight in here. You got some Velcro in the front if you want patches and you got your Molly attachment on the back side right here as usual. And your admin pouch if you wanna stick your snacks or whatever, a map or lighter or fire or something you can put in here, whatever you like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's uh, talk about the plate here and give you some more uh, information on that. All right guys, I'm gonna take a quick little look at this plate. Now the, again, this is gonna be the ceramic and this is gonna be a level three. Level three uh, for this plate is gonna be rifle rounds and anything below that, um, 5.20 pounds each, um, again, uh, this is says here protection levels NIJ3 SDA. Uh, it's got a five year um, valid year warranty, date of manufacturing November 20, 2020, size 2050 by 30, 300 millimeters. And the material used on this is going to be alumina and PE. Uh, it does have a one inch padded foam all the way around for comfort. It is curved for you, uh, so it'll be more comfortable. Uh, is 10 by 11.8 inches. It's got a slim 0.75 profile here as far as the thickness goes. Uh, it's ergonomic for the curve again, and it's waterproof uh, polyester nylon cover on it, so it's gonna be waterproof. So if you sweat and everything, it's gonna be resistant to that. Again, it's got multiple rifle rounds. It doesn't say what up to, so we're gonna test that out again, whatever I have available. That's what I'm gonna test it out with. Um, we have, uh, of course, non arm piercing rounds. It's not gonna be compatible to that because, you know, it's piercing rounds, so it's gonna go right through it. Again, five year warranty. So, yeah, we're gonna test one of these out, make sure it takes whatever. Like I said, as far as calibers, uh, we're gonna see what I have available and I can, uh, you know, multiple hits on this possible. Uh, it doesn't say this is NIJ certified, so I don't know if it is or not. Uh, if it is, I'll let you know. I'll contact LA Police Gear to verify that as well, and I'll notate it down below. Again, all the specs and everything for everything you see on these videos will be down below, especially for links and everything that you may want to get. Uh, really recommend getting one of these. Uh, as far as price go, uh, they run at 115 bucks each. So that's not very bad for being ceramic and rifle level three, multiple, uh, compatible multiple hits for this plate. All right, so enough talking, let's put everything together, put the plates in it, put it on just to see what it looks like and get the feel and everything. And then we're gonna take one of these and shoot it up and see what it will stand. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I put everything attached to the plate here and everything. I put the plates inside, just kind of, Little simple setup just to show you how I'm gonna run it for now. It may change, so bear with me. So, all right, so trying to get as best I can. As you can see, uh, I adjust the strap just a little bit to bring it up. You got the two AR magazine pouch, which is real nice. Very nice to uh, 
as well as the uh, one pistol magazine pouch here. And then I could not put the other one here because I had enough room because the way they're built, uh, it will not accommodate there. So I put it on this side. Since I'm a right hand, I'm a reload with left hand. Uh, I can still reach everything. Um, I still don't know about the admin pouch here. Um, as you can see, it's got the zipper on top right here. And you can store whatever you like inside of right here. Uh, it's flat. And then you got this uh, admin pouch as well, which I put the Extendo magazine in here. It's fit just fine there, but it does, um, you know, sticks up right here, as you can see above the plate carrier here, as you can see. But other than that, everything looks fine. Everything is attached. Um, Here's your side cumber. I did take the straps from the inside that has buckle in it. If you want to remove the cumber, you can run just the straps, it's buckles. It comes right off easily. Here's the magazine pouch. Here's the back side, what it looks like. Very nice, very comfortable in my opinion. Um, so we'll take it outside. Use got the all light here light might put it in here i might put this back in here i don't know yet i don't know how i'm gonna run it but this is what it looks like fits just fine i like it um but yeah that's pretty much it try to keep it simple i may you know change it around a little bit who knows or get different pouches i don't know but we'll run it just like it is and again i'll put all the prices if i can below to all these items again the plate carrier is eighty dollars the plates the level three plates are 115 each so yeah very nice kit rifle rated again level three and we'll shoot it shoot one and see what all the stops so stay tuned we'll be right back all right guys you seen the vest how it fits for me uh there are going to be some changes done to this of course but anyways as far as the plates go, we got it right here. We're just barely uh, three to five feet or so from it. We're gonna shoot with uh, starting a 22 and work ourselves up what I have available at uh, or to my expenses. So we're gonna start with 22 long rifle. Let's see if we can uh, see some. If I can find it. Only got one round. There you go. All right. Let's look and see what we got. As you can see. What did we hit? Like we hit right there. No, nothing came out. Barely any damage to it. All right, let's step it up to nine. Out of my six P320 here. And we're gonna shoot some uh, target round and hollow point here. So 150 and 124 if I'm not mistaken. Right out. So here we go. Nine millimeter. All right, we're clear. Let's see what we got. I don't know. We hit right there and right there, and nothing. A little bit of bulging right there, but no penetration at all. Let's step it up. All right. Next thing go we have is. Uh, Chiapa Rhino here, 357. And I think we're ready. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, hello, we hit right there. Nothing, nothing at all. All right, let's step it up. Let's go to uh, rifle. And we got AR-15, and we're gonna shoot two different rounds. We got some regular target ammo, two, two, three, and the one, the second one, it's gonna be uh, five, five, six, green tip. All right, here we go. Alright, so 
looked like I hit low there, but no penetration at all. Just skimmed it on the bottom right there. Maybe I need to hit it again. Not really sure where it hit on the second one. Uh, but let's shoot it again. If I got more rounds available, stand by. All right, let's shoot uh, another two more rounds here. Two, two, three. All right, here we go. Solid hit that time. Here on the bottom and on top. So you can see it started breaking all the ceramic on top here as well. But nothing came through. So there you go. Two, two, three. Nothing. All right. Let's go bigger. Four, seven, six, two, about 39. Uh, Palmetto State Armory AK. All right, here we go. Woo. Ammo. All right. Good. All right, look like a hair right there. See it's smoking. That's pretty neat. But nothing. It does have a, look like the round moved some there, but it's a lot bulging as you can see. It's still going to hurt, but you'll still be alive. All right. Let's go to uh, shotgun. We're going to use some uh, double buck, and the last one's going to be a slug. So here we go. All right, double buck first. Look. Here. Let's see what we got. Hit right there. And look right there. Is it right there? But nothing. <laughs> Woo, look at all that. That's bulging right there. But still gonna hurt. But guess what? You're still gonna be a lot. Alright, so let's uh pause it set it up for we're gonna hit it with something a lot bigger and of course it's uh not ready for that but let's see what happens so stand by ready. standing up really yeah. <laughs> all right hold on so we're gonna uh, use this six, six and five pre more is the uh, bergari if i'm not mistaken yep my buddy here that's a new toy so we're gonna use that and uh, like i said this is not ready for that so this just for fun and see what it does. So here we go. Go for it. Oh, yep. That went through it. Let's check it out. Clear. All right. Again, guys, this is not ready for that. But we have to destroy it somehow. And there you go. We got a pass through right there. Good hit right there. But let's... uh. Let's shoot up some more with 9mm and see how much they can handle. So stand by. Ah, right, me and my buddy here. Make sure to check him out. Range Bros TV. New upcoming channel. So we're going to go ahead and destroy this plate from LA Police Gear. So we each got 10 rounds of 9mm and we're going to let it rip. Ready? Yep. Go. Ah, right, what we got, bro? Let's see what we got. Oh wow! Another nothing. nothing. <laughs> A couple went one on the edge there. That's that's probably so. But 
God, none of them came through. Wow, that's crazy. It's all beat up in there, though, but... Yeah, but the only one that came out is the one you shot with a 6.5, and yeah, that one you know. just uh, on the edge, of course, yeah. it's going to go through. Yeah. And right there, looks like it went through on the edge or skinned it. But pretty much, uh, I guess shoot more. One, two. Yeah. Let's do it again. Stand by. All right, guys. Going to shoot it here with ARs here. We got two ARs. My buddy, Range Bro, going to shoot as well. And as usual, we got to destroy this. So, two, two, three. Here we go. Five rounds. Let it rip. Alright guys, so, what we got? All pumped steel, but none of them seem to work through at all. Wow. Some of the it. That's crazy. What's what the back look like? Nothing in the back? No, same ones. <laughs> That is crazy. But the whole inside of it is like broke. Broken in, the ceramic's breaking in and catching all those rounds. Uh, there's some right here. <laughs> oh yeah. There's one, a jacket, another one. Maybe two, two, three, maybe. Yeah, maybe a nine. Nine. That's crazy, there's more right there. Oh wow, that's crazy though. There's some more right here. Dang, but nothing still went through, so that's crazy. Wow. What do you think? We should shoot some more? Might as well. <laughs> All right, stand by. Uh, I guess we're going to finish it up with uh, 762 by 39. So you can see it's 223. Did not go through. It's still holding up well. So five rounds of 762 by 39. Here we go. Here we go. That went through for sure. Kind of hot. But, oh, I don't think it's okay. There's a round still there. <laughs> Let's do it again. There we go. See what we got here. So, I think that was the first, second round. Not sure if it went through or not, but I think it did. We try to catch it, but that's kind of high. As you can see, the ceramic is still falling off of here, and that's the six five. That's just a rip there, but still it's catching it. That's pretty darn good after being beat up pretty uh, hard. So, all right. So guys, that's pretty much it. As you can see, this uh, holds up to what it posts to. LA Police Gear level uh, three. And it's got the uh, ceramic in here, very lightweight, like I was saying. So uh, yeah, check them out, very inexpensive. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, usual. Thank you to LA Police here for sending this for a uh, test and shoot it, as you can see. And it is, like I said, a very good investment to have if you need some protection or just when shit hit the fans, you got something to protect you and your family. So I really recommend grabbing some of this. It's very inexpensive. They do have some other levels and everything, so check them out. I'll put the link down below as usual. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow me, subscribe, join all that good stuff. And as usual, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.